take a moment to get comfortable. Place a neck roll under your neck, a pillow under your knees, maybe even a blanket over you to keep you warm. While you're getting comfortable, I'm going to read a quote from an article from Psychology Today magazine. Neuroscientists have found that meditators shift their brain activity to different areas of the cortex. Brain waves in the stress-prone right frontal cortex move to the calmer left frontal cortex. This mental shift decreases the negative effects of stress, mild depression, and anxiety. There is also less activity in the amygdala where the brain processes fear. The ego mind is responsible for fear. So just going into a meditation helps to release part of the ego, helps us to shift out of the ego mindset by reducing activity in the amygdala where the brain processes fear. So just going into a meditation helps to release part of the ego by shifting us into a calmer, more peaceful mindset which lessens the effects of stress. Notice it doesn't say meditation takes away stress. It lessens the effects. In other words, when you're in a calmer state of mind, you react differently to whatever stress comes at you. So while you continue to get comfortable, I want you to begin drawing your awareness to your third chakra. This is that soft top part of the belly right underneath the rib cage. This chakra is the area of self-esteem, also known as the power center. We are no longer concerned here with building self-esteem or getting power that entitles us somehow or gives us power over another because that is ego-based and we are trying to let go of the ego's grip over us. So our intention for this practice is to let go of the need for self-esteem let go of the need to have some sort of ego power over someone or everyone else because we are beginning to have clear vision of ourselves as created equal in God's image. Equal and eternally connected in spirit. Shifting our vision from the body's eyes to that third eye vision of what the yogis called clear seeing. This allows us to let go of any need to be this or that in order to be good enough in the ego's eyes. It allows us to let go of the need to compare ourselves with each other, which in turn allows us to really let go of the need to judge ourselves and each other, and to really and truly begin seeing ourselves as equal to one another. As you lie here, I'm going to ask you some questions. You may have already answered these in the pre-meditation journaling exercise, and that's fine. I don't want you to write these down now, but just let your answers come into your awareness before we begin the ego release meditation. What are some things in your life that you do for ego's sake? maybe to look good to others? What are traits about yourself that make you feel special? What are traits about yourself that make you feel like you are not good enough? When either of these come up, remember that it is the ego and don't allow these thoughts about yourself to boost you up or tear you down. We want to stay centered, not pulled into being boosted up by the ego, only to find ourselves later torn back down again by the ego. We want to shift into being in spirit so these ego tricks can't work on fluctuating how we feel about ourselves in the course of a day, an hour, or even a minute. So let's begin the meditation. Think of yourself and everything in creation as light. 
this warm, glowing light full of unconditional love, total joy, and a deep, resounding peace like nothing our human imagination can fully fathom. In true oneness, there is nothing outside. But for this practice, imagine that you are outside looking in for a moment. See this light extending out to infinity, but within the light you can still see yourself and others in separate bodies. As you look upon this vision of seeing all of us as one connected by this light and at the same time able to see within the light our individual bodies that seem to separate us into different people, you begin to notice something else. Clouds are surrounding each individual body. Some are darker than others, obscuring more of the light. And you realize that these clouds represent the ego mind. The thoughts and attachments of each individual person make up the molecules of water in the cloud so that the more thoughts and attachments an individual person has, the denser and darker the cloud, the stronger the ego mind surrounding that person, and the more obscure the heavenly light of the true self is to that individual person. The denser and darker the cloud, the more you feel cut off from the light, separated from others' light, and especially from the source of this light. The light is joy, peace, and love like we have never imagined before. This is what we are made of, created in God's image. But our clouds of ego prevent us from experiencing this purity of love. We need to learn to see our thoughts as part of the ego mind, something to clear up, and let the rain of thoughts and attachments pour down over us from those ego clouds as we see those thoughts for what they really are. And as that rain pours down upon you, notice that you are not getting soaking wet because your light is strong enough to evaporate any thought instantaneously once you have decided to let them go. And what is left is this brilliant light, our very being, connected with every other being from eternity to infinity, with God ever present, ever permeating the entire light. Stay with this vision for a moment and notice if the grip of the ego has lessened a bit. Notice your oneness with everyone else, everything else. Notice if you are beginning to really understand how the ego works in your life. how it is as simple as a cloud that floats over your being at any given time, obscuring your light. Recognize how easy this shift is from being obscured from the light by the ego back to experiencing the light of spirit. Once you begin to see how simple it really is, when the ego arises, you will easily recognize it for what it is and be able to automatically make that shift back to spirit. Continue to see through the millions of manipulations the ego mind has in store for you to keep you in the dark, to make you think it is more difficult than it really is. Allow your whole belief system to change 
to stop associating your true self with your ego mind. And as you do, recognize how easy it is to begin seeing through the ego cloud of thoughts and attachments, allowing your light to dissolve that cloud of thoughts and attachments and keep you perfectly in that radiant light of oneness, of connection, that is our true nature. A quote from A Course in Miracles. Within himself he has no needs, for light needs nothing but to shine in peace, and from itself to let the rays extend in quiet to infinity. Namaste. The light in me is the light in you. Namaste.